Hey songwriters, in this video we are looking again at a pop single produced entirely in GarageBand. And in this video we're going to look specifically at how to mix pop vocals in GarageBand. And I'm really excited to show you, so let's jump in. All right, so we're gonna jump right into chorus two of this song. I'm gonna hit play, give you some context, and then I'm gonna tell you about how I mixed the vocals in this track. All right, so do you hear that reverb going on and on and on? We'll tell you more about that in a minute, but here's what I wanna do. I wanna create a dry track with no processing, no effects on it, right below our current track. And I wanna copy and paste our current performance into that dry track and let you hear the before and after. So I'll hit that. Now we have duplicates, the exact same performance. One has processing and effects, one does not have anything. It's dry, as we say. So I'm gonna hit the dry one first. They will hear, they will give you praise. Oh. All right, now let's do the process track. Do song in my mouth. All the nations, they will hear, they will give you praise. Oh. So, a pretty big difference, right? And that reverb just goes on and on. But what's exciting about this is. I mixed this in GarageBand and I wanna show you guys how to do this. It's a few simple moves that you can do to make your vocal sound a lot brighter, a little bit larger than life and just really exciting. All right, so we are gonna start by hitting the B button which brings up our smart controls window. You can also hit this dial here and that's our mixing window where we can process this vocal or any track that we have highlighted. So to start, I'm gonna come down here and click on my plugins. Now, this looks a little intimidating, but we're gonna simplify it, okay? So we start with a channel EQ, okay? What we're gonna do here is go over to EQ, and I'm gonna show you three moves that you can do, okay? And I'm gonna go down to the dry track to show you how I do them. So again, we're not on controls, we're on EQ. The first thing is called a high pass filter. And what you do is you turn it on and it's going to sift out some of the low end muddy stuff and it'll make your voice sound a little cleaner and it also cleans up the rest of the mix for the low end as well. So let me hit play on that and show you. Do song in my mouth. Put a new song in my mouth. It's very subtle. It's very subtle. I'm not claiming that it's not, but all of these moves, when they're combined together, are gonna make the big impact. So just trust me on this one. Move number two, we're gonna grab this green band here and we're gonna boost it up and look for the ugliest sounding thing you can find. Pretty simple, right? All right, so if I hit play on this, I'm gonna I'll boost put it. Put a new song in my mouth. Should be around put 1K. Put a new song in my mouth. They will give you praise. There's some stuff right around 1K that is like hurting my ears. And what we're gonna do is do a what's called a cut down to just about three to five dBs, right down there below 1K. Let's play it now. Put a new song in my mouth. Turn that All off. the nations they will hear, they will give you praise. So it's so subtle again, I know, but just trust me, you don't have to hear it. Just trust me and do it, and eventually your ears will catch up. The last thing we're gonna do, move number three on EQ, is what's called a high shelf, a shelf boost, okay? This raises some of the brightness and the breathiness of your vocals. So without it, I'm gonna hit play and start to bring it up. The song in my mouth, all the nations they will hear, they will give you praise. Oh. So we're gonna start start it around maybe seven, eight, nine K, and then we're gonna bring it up about four or five dBs. And again, if that's confusing, just try it, just do it. Don't worry about it. All right, so that's number one. Let's go back to controls over to our plugins. We're gonna shift up EQ to first. Next, we're gonna turn on the compressor. You see the blue light come on here. And we're gonna do three moves in here now. Number one, we are gonna bring our ratio up to three to one. 
And the short and simple explanation of compression is it brings your two louds a little quieter, your two quiets a little bit louder, kind of evening out your performance. It just makes it sound fuller and really, really nice. So number one is ratio. We're going up to three, one, right in there. And then number two, we're gonna grab the gain. We're gonna go up to about two or two and a half. And then from there, our third move is to mess with the compressor threshold. And the way we do that is by hitting New play. Song in my mind. And I wanna bring this down until I see about three or four dots of activity at a time here. So let me hit play on it. Put a new song in my mind. It's about two. All the nations, they will hear, they will give you praise. Oh. So it's a little much. Might back it down just a little bit more. Try again. I'm in my mouth. All the nations, they will hear. So each of these dots represents a dB, a decibel. And so we're looking for about three or four dBs of what's called gain reduction. It's taking our two outs and bringing them down. And then here on the bottom end, our gain is what's our two quiets. It's raising those up a bit. So now, I know it's subtle, but let's try this again. I'm gonna hit play on it. I'm going to turn off these first for a comparison and then turn them back on. Put a new song in my mouth. All the nations, they will hear, they will give you praise. Oh. So obviously it's gotten louder, the compressor is helping with that, but it's also cleaned it up a bit because that EQ is shaping it, it's removing some of those weird sounds that we don't wanna hear and it's also highlighting some of the breathiness that we do wanna hear and then the compressor is evening out and kind of making that uh, performance more full. So next, we're gonna add probably the most dramatic effect, everyone's favorite, and that is reverb, okay? So come down to an empty space, and we're gonna go down to reverb, and on this one, we're gonna hit platinum verb. All right, so now that we have the reverb turned on, let's take a quick listen. Put a new song in my mouth. There we go, now it's starting to sound like a real pop vocal. And there's a lot of adjustments that can be made. Some of them are pretty tricky. There's not time to explain them, but here's what I want you to look at. We're gonna go up to the default settings, and just pick a preset. I'm gonna go with church, which is like a big, large space, and let's test that out. Put a new song in my mouth. All right, so I'm liking that. A lot of reverb, a lot of space, and what a preset does is actually takes these knobs and it sets them for you and just gives you a certain feel or vibe. So you can go through here and go, which one do I like best? Rather than going, I don't know what this knob means. Just kind of get me in the ballpark of what I'm looking for, okay? And then you can, of course, adjust these. You can back them down to make them a little softer. It's really dramatic right now, which is okay for a big chorus, but you might want to back those down. So that's really up to you. And guys, that's the three big moves that I do. Shelter.